And then there's this other card with Broly. Um, what is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today I'm going to show you guys how to play through OG Broly, also known as SS Broly, the demon's second coming. This is the second time the demon has. Anyway, uh, this deck's nasty. I tested it with my buddy Joe from my team last night. Joe, if you're watching this, thanks for testing with me last night. So he was actually playing it at Locals last week and it was kind of crazy watching the deck. And my sensei Miguel also had mentioned that this guy might be low key really good. So I tried my hand at it. I made a red green build and I'm gonna show you guys how to run through it today. So this is the list right here. If you wanna screenshot this, this is basically what the deck is. I'll also post a link to DBS deck so you guys can see it there. But this is the list. All right. And and we'll cut and we'll roll for us. We get a seven and our opponent gets a four. So in our opening hand, we really want a red, green and uh, extra card, a red extra card. So um, we want to charge a red, green multicolor turn one. That's the ideal charge. We got our secret rare, so we'll hold on to that. We have a red, green. Um, and then we want to make sure we hold on to one red extra card. This card is good, but we don't need it in our opening hand. And this card's good, but we don't need it in our opening hand either. So we're really looking for red extra cards and red green, because ideally we'd like to charge this turn two, since if we have a red green in our energy area, we can ignore that card's energy exhaust. And then we can start getting some value off of some other cards in our deck we do run some arrival packages so there's two and three perfect and then we'll set our life over here and start off so since we won the dice roll we'll be going first the first thing we want to charge is a multicolor in our energy and pass our opponent will go they'll probably deal a damage to us so we'll take one life to our hand and then draw a card untap and now we can charge this in active mode since we have a red green in our energy area this card now ignores energy exhaust we can attack with our leader i find that gigantic meteor is a pretty good one to pitch because you really don't use it till later if you do um draw two and that's his auto and then from here we'd probably pass turn uh let our opponent uh attack us here maybe take another life and then we would draw for our next turn and at this point we can start charging red. We really only need one red green. So we're not really gonna be activating this since we're just simulating here. Um, and then we'll swing with our leader, choose an extra card in our hand and discard it and draw two. So this time we'll uh, discard the demon awakens and draw two. Uh, at this point we can basically just save these cards for defense if our, our opponent is gonna start getting aggressive with things we can uh, pay one for King Vegeta's imposing presence and for the duration of the turn they'll have to give each attacking card 5k um, when they swing with something else we can uh, negate with demonic blitz when we negate with demonic blitz they're gonna have to uh, that negates the attack and then we can choose something and give it minus 10k and then let's say they dealt the damage to us here and then we draw for our turn untap our energy and choose something to put in our energy area here. Probably charge one of these guys. And then we can start our turn by swinging with our leader. Let's discard a demonic barrier and draw two. Um, now we have this SS Broly Unforeseen Force. SS Broly Unforeseen Force is kind of like that Goku Black uh, from the same promo set. So you play him for two and activate his skill. When you play his card from your hand at the end of the turn, if there's a card that is both red and green in your energy area, draw two cards, choose one card in your hand and place it in your drop area. Then choose any number of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost adding up to three or less and KO them. He would be really good against something like Gogeta Xeno where they're building a board of one drops and then you can just clear out their, out their one drops with this guy. And then, you know, you can attack with him uh, maybe even play this guy just to draw a card. And then we'll pass turn. And at the end of our turn, we draw two cards and then choose one card in our hand and put it in our drop area. So we'll drop this Demon Awakens. Um, now it's gonna be our opponent's turn. Uh, we'll say they dealt a damage to us and KO this guy and we had to play some defense. So maybe we'll uh, use after image technique to negate something. 
and then uh, we'll pass to us, draw for our turn. Here we want to choose something and put it in our energy area. So we'll go ahead and charge uh, a demonic barrier. And do the same thing here, swing with our leader and discard an extra card. So I'll discard uh, Gigantic Meteor, draw two cards, um, and, our, and our opponent may take that, not take that. Uh, now that we are close to awakening range, if we want to awaken on this turn, you can actually use uh, Demon Awakens from your drop area. So the way this card works is you warp this card, burst one, and add a card from your life to your hand. And that gives you, uh, puts us at three, which puts us in awakening range. So now we could pay three and play this SS Broly Brutality Beyond Measures. And he has a cool effect that happens when you activate a uh, uh, extra card. But here we can awaken, untap an energy, draw two cards and give our cards barrier. So we'll give both of these guys barrier for the turn. And then we can go ahead and swing with him. He's 35K double strike. Um, and if we really wanna add some pressure here, uh, ideally if we had our arrival, that would be best. So I'm not gonna do anything else here. We'll just leave this energy up for defense. And on defense, you can activate a lot of these cards to give your leader extra power. So if our, someone's attacking our leader, we can activate this for one to give our leader 10K. That gives 10K combo power. And we can also activate battle to just discard cards. You could use Demonic Blitz to negate. And then, of course, we still have a King Vegeta's Imposing Presence, and we could negate with that. At this point, it's a good idea to separate your extra cards and battle cards in your drop area because this leader benefits off of having a certain number of extra cards here. Um, and we'll say it's our turn now. So we'll draw for turn. And we're going to choose something and put it in our energy area. I'll go ahead and charge this guy since we have multicolor in our energy now we have another green um we want to see more cards so i'd probably just play the other one of him to draw a card and he sees us something if our opponent has two energy up we can play broly crown to look at our opponent's hand um and again if we're going for game here we can use the demon awakens just to draw another card so we can mill a card off top of our deck and then draw a card from our life i'm really looking for one of these guys but i don't see one right now so what I would probably do here is I would attack with him. Um, I would then combo our Wicked Sands Secret Rare. Uh, at the end of battle, you can pay two energy to play this from your drop area. And if they, they can either choose four of their cards and switch them to rest mode. If they don't, they have to drop two cards and this guy gets played. Now he's gonna have dual attack and blocker for the turn. So the next thing we can do here is swing with him for the first swing and super combo to draw because we really want to see. There he is. This is the card we're looking for. Um, so that's going to be 50K they're going to have to deal with. And then this will stand back up. And now we're going to get into some shenanigans with our leader. So we can swing with our leader, uh, draw a card for the attack. And then when we're in here, we can pay one for demonic barrier which is going to give our leader 5k in crit and then we can activate battle on our leader and um, choose demonic playtime play it for free from our drop put it in our warp and uh, add another 10k and give him double strike so now he's a uh, 30k double strike crit when we activate an extra card with activate battle skill uh, we can discard a card off of this card's skill. So we can discard this. And if the card is the same copy of this card, we get to draw two cards. And then we can choose uh, one of our opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and give it minus 35,000. Now during the battle step, we can pay one and we can put him in our combo area that gives us our red, green, and arrival this Broly fra tragedy foretold. And when this guy's in play, basically you can remove a card from your opponent's combo area once per turn. So they're probably gonna take this since it's a 
40k double strike crit it's going to be kind of hard to to deal with especially if we just made them drop two cards and then he's going to restand from pitching the card off that effect we can swing another double strike swing 40k swing 30k and had if they had any floodgates we could have beerus ball their floodgate added a life for that and uh yeah that's kind of how this deck goes and when you attack with your leader you can also just activate battle and discard cards to give plus 5k so this could have been a uh 30 45k base and then super combo also and just you know just combo your hand off so a lot of uh stopping power with this deck if you set it up right i think i think this secret rare is actually really good um in this list because it fuels your arrival if you need to do it on that turn and it's also just uh pretty devastating to have to drop two cards when this deck is going in on you so that's red broly um og broly you can just squeeze the guy here you can see broly just giving gohan a big old hug and then there's this other card with broly um no comment but uh there's some really great cards in this deck it's really fun to play it's fun to read the names of the cards like demonic playtime and uh the demon awakens and all these fun fun cards and it's a really pretty deck also i think the broly spr is the second best looking spr from sand showdown obviously second to kefla uh anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough i really like playing this deck i think it's worth slapping together i don't think it's crazy expensive the scr is relatively cheap also but i think it's really fun it's a different deck i think different decks have potential to be really good when they have mechanics that play differently than normal and they seem to function pretty well so i think this is a good example of that deck uh i really enjoy playing it i hope you guys enjoy playing it i am a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip so my dental tooth tip today would be don't eat things that are harder than your teeth take this bro freezer burn broly for example you can see he's screaming because he may have just eaten something harder than his tooth and he may have broken one of his tooth which is very likely situation since he's so badly freezer burned i'm joku dmd thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time